education for 1,700 days. Fossil fuels are formed. Fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas are formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. The process of their formation involves several stages which take place over millions of years under specific environmental conditions. Initial organic matter deposition. Fossil fuels begin with the accumulation of organic material, primarily from plants, algae and microorganisms in swamps, lakes, oceans and other bodies of water. When these organisms died, they sank to the bottom, forming thick layers of organic matter. In water, oxygen levels are often low, which slows the decay of this organic material. Over time, it mixes with mud, sand or silt. Burial and sedimentation. As more layers of sediment accumulate on top of the organic material, the pressure and temperature in the lower layers increase. These sediments bury the organic material deeper beneath the Earth's surface. Over millions of years, this compression compacts the material and starts to change its chemical composition. The increasing pressure and heat prevent the organic material from decaying completely and instead initiate the transformation process. Heat and pressure transform the organic material. As the organic material is buried deeper, it is exposed to higher levels of pressure and heat, causing it to chemically change into a more carbon-rich substance. This process, called diagenesis, is the first step of fossil fuel formation. As pressure continues to build over millions of years, further chemical reactions occur, transforming the material into fossil fuels. Coal formation. When plant material is buried in swamps and subjected to pressure, it first forms peat, a precursor to coal. As the temperature and pressure rise over time, peat undergoes further transformation into lignite, which is also known as brown coal. Then it changes into bituminous coal, or soft coal, and finally into anthracite, also known as hard coal. Anthracite has the highest carbon content and energy output. Oil and natural gas formation. Oil and natural gas form primarily from marine organisms, such as plankton and algae. As these microorganisms were buried, they were transformed under heat and pressure. At a certain depth and temperature, the organic material was converted into kerogen, which is a waxy substance. With further heat, it breaks down into liquid hydrocarbons, forming crude oil. If the process continues with higher heat, the material breaks down even further to form natural gas, which is composed primarily of methane. Migration and trapping. Once oil and gas are formed, they are often squeezed out of the source rock by the pressure of overlying layers of sediment. They move through porous rocks until they are trapped in reservoirs beneath impermeable rock layers, forming underground pools. These reservoirs are where oil and gas can accumulate and are often the target of drilling operations. Human extraction and use. Today, fossil fuels are extracted from the earth through mining for coal and drilling for oil and natural gas. They are then refined and used as energy sources in various sectors such as transportation, electricity generation and manufacturing. The formation of fossil fuels takes millions to hundreds of millions of years, which is why they are considered non-renewable resources. They do not form on a human timescale. Fossil fuels are the result of ancient organic matter buried under layers of sediment subjected to high pressure and heat over millions of years. This process converts the organic material into coal, oil or natural gas, which are stored in the Earth's crust and used as energy sources today.